tonight from Buffalo Bills Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. We are about 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Bill Stadium in Orchard Park. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Baltimore Ravens. And we are underway in Buffalo. Buffalo. Taken in at the three. And able to get this out to the 25. First and 10. And number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. Allow me a second here to gush because in his college career, the only player in NCAA history to rush for over 1,500 yards and pass for over 3,500 yards in a season. And he did it twice. That's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> Yet he only won the Heisman Trophy once. <laughs> On first and 10, it's Jackson. That incomplete crisis averted, almost picked. Instead, second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Jackson. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. From the gun, Jackson, and that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So on fourth down, here Sam Cook to put it away. Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. It's Josh Allen that'll be orchestrating the offense, a 6'5 quarterback from Wyoming. How about 54 touchdown passes in two full seasons at the University of Wyoming coming out of a junior college? I think he exceeded expectations, and he can move it around a little bit, too. A much better athlete than people give him credit for. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. 
Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Well, they set the power set out there, and their job is to be man-on-man -man and move people so they can run the football. But that time, too many men didn't get moved in the box defensively. They end up throwing him for a loss. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the gun, it's Allen. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Well, certainly not how he wanted to start his night. First throw of the game, an INT. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try and wipe that one away from the memory banks. And let's face it. It's not often a quarterback and a defensive back have a lot in common. But one thing, because they have these individual type plays, they've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat, wipe it away, quarterback throws a pick, has to do the same thing. carry for the former Buckeye J.K. Dobbins and inside the 20 before he's brought down they went three and out on their first drive things already looking better here first and ten well, I can certainly tell my age partner because when I was a kid running backs like J.K. Dobbins with over 2,000 yards in their final season in college they went early in the draft instead he somehow lasted until the second round but how great is it to get a guy with that ability who can run it inside, run to the perimeter, and catch the football out of the backfield, to be able to get him in the second round? That's what I call a steal. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And this is caught at the eight. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Seven yards, the pick up there. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Second down from the eight. They can get a first down by reaching the five. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll make it third and one. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. A drive there of just four plays. And it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 
And this carries into the end zone. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. At their own 25-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. shake off the interception from the last drive he'll look to throw oh incomplete the rookie had it and lost it there and it'll be second down pretty fortunate there the interception that ended the last drive and then boom the first pass here almost picked on this drive yeah i think you can definitely call him the question is decision making here in the first half certainly not the best of decisions there lucky that one wasn't picked an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25 Throwing again, Allen, and he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And that may have been incomplete, but he reminds me so much of when my dad used to take me to the baseball stadium and watch the home run hitters in batting practice. I'll get to the stadium early just to watch this kid throw it. He can throw it out of the stadium. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. Forty-two yards on the punt, just two on the return, and the Ravens—they'll take over. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. They've got a seven-nothing lead in the football as well as they start out first and ten. Jackson he's going deep for Brown and it's intercepted picked off by Jordan Poyer and the return goes up to his own 17 yard line that throw Charles over the middle of the field and a few too many bodies in there got picked that's a normal situation too isn't it no matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes there's always going to be a traffic jam it feels like towards the middle and if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. By the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. 
Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a boost first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Singletary here running out of the gun. Nowhere to go that time. Devin he maybe got a yard up to the 40. He's tackled at the 40. Yeah, yard. things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun. Allen, and his throw's going to be incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown, and it's third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Operating from the gun. Allen steps away. He can run for it, and he will. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Tackle made at the the tackle credited to Deshaun Elliott, the safety. Brings up second and nine. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Raven seven, Bills nothing. Second and nine. Here's Allen to throw it. Flush to his right. He'll run it. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 24-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Zach Moss, Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Year a season ago. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. 23-yard line. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up 
They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. They'll roll him out right. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. First trip to the red zone for the Bills. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And power running here down to the 6-yard line. And it's a 7-yard carry to set them up with a second and 3. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. A good run got 7 on first. Here's 2nd and 3. Now they'll throw with Allen, eluding the pressure right. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. The Bills on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now Allen. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Matt Judon able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Well, they only had a yard to go. They try to pass the football. Defense blitz. Defense got there. Yeah, I think on this one, this is probably good scouting, understanding a few tendencies and figuring out that, hey, they may take a shot. They dialed up the pressure and got to him. Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. 22-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on I was. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. This Ravens offense heads back out there, led by Lamar Jackson. And what do you think's going through his head right now? You, your team's winning, but you're not having your best game. That probably affects you even when your team is up. You don't want anyone else to know it, but I think you're right. It bothers a quarterback because they always want to be the one to lead their team to victory with their play as well as their words. And in this case, he's got something he can fall back on. He's contributed, yet at the same time, he's thrown an interception. Got to remember the bottom line, though. They're winning. So he knows if he plays better, they might be winning by more. And it's only the second quarter, so he's got some time. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down.
following the pickup of four. Here's second and six. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Seven yards there and a first down. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. To throw again. Jackson and the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Quentin Jefferson in there to take him down on what will take us to the two minute warning. Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. The business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. two-minute drill. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here's Sam Cook now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. His feet, what he's been able to do individually running the ball, it's kind of kept him in this game. No doubt about it, because if he's not making the plays that we've seen, they are really getting blown out in this one. I don't think they have any chance at all. He's keeping them in striking distance, hoping to get some help from the defensive side of the ball so that maybe some of these plays can turn into plays that maybe put them in the lead. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Allen trying to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on first down is Allen. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Devin Singletary there, but it'll be second down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again, Allen. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Intended to try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. Throwing is Allen on third. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Bills send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. 
40 yards on the punt, two on the return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. Now Jackson on first down. A short throw caught by Andrews. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second and six at the 33-yard line. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Jackson from the shotgun. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. Jackson's call it a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll make it third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. From the gun, it's Jackson. He gets this underneath to Dobbins, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Sam Cook now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And now we move our focus to Stephon Diggs. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well. And they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. On play action, Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Now, what a first down pickup of eight. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. to back good plays have them on the move on first down on play action Allen going deep for Diggs and that will be incomplete four ticks left here on the clock intended for Stephon Diggs incomplete brings up second and ten at the 40 yard line So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. A final shot before half for Allen. 
He's going to go deep for Beasley. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So we reach intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a terrific first half from the dual-threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 20. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. From the gun, Allen. And Beasley with it over the middle. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. From the 28, it's second and five. Operating from the gun. Allen finding Knox there, complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. The tackle made by L.J. Ford. I have to think a major focus of the halftime makes had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Singletary again. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Now Allen off the bootleg. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. 
And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Now a run with Singletary. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. Second and 11 now. Allen, quick slant to Brown. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 31-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Calais Big Calais Campbell fighting through to make the play in the backfield. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. From the gun, Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll try and run for this with Moss. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. The kick by Bass is good. And they'll get it back with it a point at 7-6. Seven to six. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Top 
operating from the gun. Jackson stepping up. He'll try and run. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. And, Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead. This is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. And here's Jackson on the option. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He'll wind up getting 11 on that one. And it'll move the chains. on the play. First down, Ravens. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's the option play now to the left. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. From the 17, Jackson looking left side. Andrews with it complete. Jackson that catch good for five. Completed. It's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. From the gun, Jackson. And that will be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They're going for it with Dobbins. 
They get six yards going for it on fourth, and now it's first and goal. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Touchdown. Lamar Jackson keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Ravens will extend their lead. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. Jackson's they just couldn't stop him, up and he ends up in the end zone. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. A 10-play drive that time. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. Buffalo set to get the football back here. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one possession game down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. now with a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line and from the shotgun he'll throw he's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete and he is going to lose yardage here but despite the completion they're going to wind up losing three there second down well, i don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home but uh, charles you and i can hear it a lot of groans right now coming from this crowd i don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me this offense they've been stuck in neutral much of the game and on that last play they actually went in reverse I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. To throw again on second down. Allen sliding out of the pocket. They give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And he is going to have a Bills first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Allen to Beasley, first down Buffalo. Allen trying to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Not much there, only a yard. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam coming out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. got a yard 
out of that last completion. And that makes us second and nine. He's back to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. will hustle to the line. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Now a desperation. And this is caught. He takes it across for the touchdown. And they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. They certainly aren't afraid to dial up the long ball. And fans dig the long ball. And they absolutely needed it. And guess what? They got it. How about that? And now a two-point conversion away from tying this game up. So now an important conversion attempt here as the Bills line up to go for two. Back to throw. Allen. On the move to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Huge, huge conversion there to tie this thing up. But they're not done yet. Their defense needs to get a stop. Yeah, there's still plenty of time for the other team to come downfield and put some points on the board. But job one was taken care of. The two-point conversion to get this thing tied. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From the six. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime and try and win it there. But, you know, sitting up here in the booth, Take some I, gambles. Say, I say let's go for this thing, try and push it, and maybe catch the defense back on their heels a bit. See if they do that. Jackson. Man open left side is Brown. Pass the 20. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Touchdown, Baltimore. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. Tucker now to add the point after. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six.
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken in the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. Josh Allen leads the offense out for their next possession. And after the slow start, the numbers show he has really straightened things out. How often sometimes is that that you come into a game and the defense is game planned a little differently than you expected? More often than maybe people realize, so adjustments are often a big part of each and every game. And it's not just getting to halftime. It's series to series to make it work. And being able to hang in there when there's a little adversity early and see him able to flip it around, it's kind of gratifying for a team to watch, especially for... And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Last run got a couple here, second and eight. The Ravens taking a knee with victory seemingly in hand here. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. extra defensive backs to defend this third down play. Yeah, they're going dime. Down to a knee goes Jackson, and that should seal it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Ravens, 21. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You were wondering, could it happen, possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from 